welcome to this uh, short video about use of uh, Hulk headquarters units in strategic command World War II. Uh, as you can see, I'm using the Iron Cross mod. Um, this is just a purely cosmetic mod. Doesn't change the gameplay at all, but it does improve the appearance a lot. Um, that's where this King Tiger thing. So, in this um, video, we're just going to talk about um, some of the things I've learned about HQs. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, uh, seven things. Um, first one is you do them first. Uh, then we're going to talk about uh, you can move them first, but not the troops. Uh, then major versus minor allies, then command distance, then chaining, um, placement next to units, and which ones to use. So the first, the first point we want to make is um, that you do the HQs first before you do everything else. Uh, the reason for this is that as soon as you move a unit you can't allocate it to a, an HQ. Um, you can't detach it, you can't add it, um, and that completely mucks, mucks up your organization. So the very first thing you do in every turn is allocate HQs to units. Uh, however, you the second thing is that you can move the HQs. So, for instance, if we if we look at this uh, Romanian headquarters, um, you'll see it's out of range of this um, Romanian unit. Uh, I do have a problem here because there's a partisan uh, next to the Romanian HQ. So I've got to make sure before I move the HQ that I can get the garrison unit in there first. And now I move the remaining HQ. And how are we doing now? Ah, we moved it too far. <laughs> I don't think, I, so I can attach this one. But I can't attach that one. Uh, huh. So you got to work. Uh, you got to look at the range of uh, the units as well. And you do that simply by clicking on it. And although I moved the HQ, I could attach the unit. However, as soon as I do something like. Um, move this unit, say, I don't know, well, for instance, that Kargarid unit there. It's also out of range of how near an HQ, but it's just within range of this one. Right, so if I do something like, oh, I don't know, attack that, I can no longer see now it doesn't allow me to attach or detach it so uh, check your ranges check your partisans um, but you can move the HQs but not the units that you want to attach or detach from them The next thing I want to mention is the major versus minor allies. So, you, so we, here we've got uh, Romanians and we've got uh, Hungarians. Now the the German HQ can attach to either of those, but a because it's a major country, but a minor ally such as the Hungarians can only attach to Hungarians. And the Romanians can only attach to Romanians. And, oh, well, what about the Italians? Well, 
the Italians are a major country. So Italians can connect to Italians. And in this case, they've, they've also got a Finnish unit and a Romanian unit. So because they're a major country, they can attach to minor allies, but major countries can't control the other troops of major countries. So the Italians can't control any of these German troops. And the Germans can't control any of the Italians. Which is, of course, of major uh, importance when you're playing around with the Africa Corps because then you've got to make sure you keep the Italians together and the Germans together because the HQs of the Germans can only contain the eight German units and the HQs for the Italian units can only control Italian units because they're both major powers. So just remember whether it's a major or a minor ally makes a big difference as to what they can or cannot control. Next thing I want to mention is chaining. So um, I think this is a function of the um, Iron Cross mod, um, which is a, it's just a, um, a cosmetic mod. It doesn't do anything to gameplay, but it does make things easier by showing you some things. One, I think this is one of the things that happens in it, is it shows you a um, yellow hexagon around the source of supply. I don't know how chaining works exactly, but I think what it, but basically you've got to keep your HQs on railway lines. So that's important. Um, you've got to keep the HQs on a railway line that is linked to the capital of the country in order to receive supply. Um, and if you've got um, a, an HQ in a major town or city with a um, which has I, I don't, which has railways going into it and out of it and that's connected by railways to another HQ then you may find that you're chaining and let's go to supply now so as supply goes down one step per hex on the railway um, it uh, has improved the um, the supply on this one here the Italian one so yeah I think that I think it does even though this is one instance where having different countries do, I don't think matters as far as supply is concerned because here I've got an Italian one that's providing supply to all of these units. <laughs> or at least I think I am. If I look at this, um, if I look at this German, uh, this German unit here, it's got a supply of four. So I suppose, I don't know. Not sure whether, I'm pretty sure they do provide supply to, um, like Italians to Germans and Germans to Italians when they're chaining. But I'm not absolutely sure about that. Um, there's a lot of things I haven't worked out about how to chain. Um, but basically, if you haven't, the reason why this HQ is so far away, or rather this one, this, this HQ is so far away because where do you hit the supply button? You see it's a 10 because it's in Smolensk um, which is a, a city um, and so it gets a s supply of 10 and uh, by the time that gets to these uh, HQs it's gone down to 6 but um, you see there's no on this, there's no um, there's no chaining happening because I suppose they're not on a no, none of these HQs are on a direct railway line to each other. 
if we look at this one here, it's not on a railway line. Oh, oh, here we go. It's in this blank. It's just in an open countryside, but it's taking supply from there. So actually, you don't have to be on a railway line to chain. Um, yeah, the the other thing I can't work out is um, towns have a supply level. Um, and HQs have a rating, but there doesn't seem to be any relationship between that, between what supply you get from that town with an HQ in it. But it's better to put um, HQs in towns that have a supply that boosts your overall supply level. If you do have a choice of um, HQs to have signed to a unit, um, be aware that the ratings of the HQ. So um, this this hung this Hungarian HQ has a rating of five, and this German HQ has a rating of seven. So you see, I've got the German control one. The Germans are controlling that eight Hungarian unit over there, um, which is in range, um, because they've got the higher rating than the Hungarian one. Uh, oh, it looks like I've got nobody attached to that one. Oh. I've got the Italians. See, the Italians are controlling the Hungarians. The Italian HQ is a rating of 6, and the Hungarians have a rating of 5. So, the Italians are just within range, so we'll leave it that way. Another thing I haven't worked out is whether it's better to whether it's better to have a, an HQ next to a unit, um, or whether it's better to have it further away, like this one. Because when an HQ is next to a unit, that unit will fight better. It, it usually only shows. Sometimes it's, it makes a dramatic distance, but difference. But most of the time, it just shows by that unit will. Um, do better than expected um, you know how it will, it will indicate you'll get a two damage and instead of getting a two damage you'll get a three uh, that's more likely for that sort of thing to occur and more likely for you to achieve a good result rather than a bad result uh, that seems how it works most of the time putting your HQ next to a unit so it is important to put your units next to a unit however doing that may reduce the amount of supply um, and the supply is very important in uh, improving your the way you fight. So I haven't quite worked out when it is better to, um, you know, like for instance, I'm trying to move this one closer, but by moving it away from Kursk, I actually reduce the supply of everything. Um, and by putting this here instead of here on the um, town, this one actually probably gets a lower supply level than it would if it had stayed back there. So, still not sure about that one. But something to keep aware of is, you know, whether it, try to keep them close as possible. Um, and that's all I have to say. So I hope that's some help to you. Um, and uh, good luck with your gaming.